one and listening okay so today we're going to be thinking about our number bonds to 10 and we're going to be thinking about how we need to know those number bonds to 10 and recall them quickly to help us with our addition and subtraction my objective for the first part of the lesson is to recall and use addition and subtraction facts up to 10 and in the main lesson then looking at addition um, and in particular using number facts number bonds to 10 but also looking at partitioning two two digit numbers we're going to start off thinking about how our pegs on our coat hanger can help us to learn our number bonds to 10. so with your talk partner just have a little one minute chat about how we can use our pegs to help us find pairs of numbers that total 10. Okay, off you go. In order to develop mathematical understanding, it's really important that you get the children to think about their mathematics and again develop that use of mathematical language. So what do we call it when we move one at a time? Sis. Thank you. Reasoning is drip fed into everything that we do. Bradley, can you tell me how I can use the pegs to help me find my pairs of numbers that total 10? Move two across. I can move two across, and how does that help me find a pair of numbers that makes 10? What do I know now, now that I've moved two across? I've got two here. Who can help Bradley? Corey? He's put two on that side <coughs> and left, the, left eight on that side. So what does that help us to know? That we always have 10. We've always got 10. So what calculation would that be? What calculation, Finley? Two and... So 8 equals 10. Brilliant, excellent. How could we be systematic to find all of our pairs that make 10? Um, move one across and then you'll get 9 on that side and 1 on that side. OK, and then what could I do? Move another one across. Move another one across and what have I got now, Lily? Um, 2 add 7 I'll makes check 10. check that. To add eight. Eight. Okay. What can I do now? And um, move one more over. Brilliant. There will be three. Is add seven. Good boy. Fantastic. So we can move one and nine. Then I have two and eight. eight. Then I have three and seven. seven. And four and six. Five and five. Six and four. one across each time what's happening to the number on this side Kenzie uh, they're getting bigger brilliant what are we doing each time M moving them across we're moving across what sort of calculation what am I doing each time I'm adding. it's adding and how many am I adding each time Paige one one more brilliant I'm adding one more so what's happening to the number on this side if this side's getting bigger by one I'm adding one more what's happening on this side Laurie? It's getting big, smaller. Why? Because you're moving one each time. What sort of calculation is that? Subtraction. Good girl. And how much am I subtracting? Um, one. One. So it's going to be one? Less. Good girl. What would that look like on a number sentence? If I show you this image here, can you write on your whiteboard how I would record that as a number sentence? What number have I got here? What number have I got here? And how many have I got all together? Okay, so think about what that would look like as a number sentence. And show me. I have got lots of people who have written two and eight. That's lovely, because I've got two on this side and eight on this side. Now then. Daisy, I'm going to borrow yours, because Daisy has written something different. Well, can you tell me, explain to everybody what you've written? Um, ten take away two equals eight. What word can we use instead of take away? Subtraction. Well done, good girls. Most of you have recorded it as an addition. So for this, it would be two add eight equals ten. With your talk partner, I'd like to look at these two number sentences 
and I want you to talk about what's the same and what's different with those number sentences. It's really important that you use a range of open questions like what's the same, what's different, what do you notice? Ten take away two. I mean, ten subtract because it's just changed around and it's just what. OK, what's the same and what's different? We've all got eights in and they've all got twos in. We've both got eights in and they've both, both got twos in. Well spotted, Vinnie. Madison. They've both got eights, they've both got twos in, they've both got tens. So they've got the same numbers in them, so that's something that's the same. So what's different about those number sentences? One subtraction and one's adding. How are those two linked then? How are they linked? But the one what um, Daisy done is the same as 10 subtract 2 equals 8. She had 10 subtract 2 equals 8, and that's the same as that. But you, did you have the same addition on your board? I had 8, no, 2 plus 8 equals 10. OK, so let's have a think about that. If we've got 2 add 8 equals 10, what happens if I turn my pegs around? <coughs> What happens if I turn my pegs around, Rossi? It swaps round and on the peg line. It swaps round. So what can you tell me about that calculation? If this was it's 2 add 8, what would this be? 8 add 2. 8 add 2. What do you know about addition? What do you know about addition, Corey? It can be in any order. And the answer? Is always the same. OK, so we know that we can add numbers in any order and the answer will always be the same. So it doesn't matter if I'm doing 8 add 2, that's the same as 2 add 8.